Today we're going to be talking about Dr. Dre's next episode, also known as the Thug Life Song, and how do we create that in Logic Pro X. Now that we're going to have some fun today and have a look at Dr. Dre's next episode, which is the Thug Life theme for the meme, and see how we create that in Logic Pro X. So here's our project for our next episode, i.e. the Thug Life song, and uh, here's how it sounds. Well, that's your basic building block for the Thug Life song. And uh, let's go track to track. Okay, so the big things that are happening are the French horns. And what I picked was, these three are actually on the same track. They just copied over. Um, and I picked the under orchestral brass French horn solo. And uh, this is how the track looks. Yep. And this is how it sounds. Now it sounds quite dissonant, but you have to remember that most of these sections were actually samples uh, placed on top of each other in the original way that they created it. They didn't do it track by track like how we did, uh, but yeah, so it's going to be different sounding, um, but we're just going to approach it in the same way. So, okay, the first thing you notice is that it's sent to a bus 1 for reverb, and that we're using a large space spring reverb, Moog Spring, which sounds a bit more dirty, a bit more retro kind of sounding. Um, and if you notice, uh, the tracks are being sent to bus 8. Which on bus 8, uh, there is a amp, guitar amp, and what we used was a brawny combo clean. And we mucked around with the EQ a little bit, and again we pushed it down. And uh, just to get a bit of that dirty sound. And of course we use a compressor as well to glue everything together. We use a classic VCA, compressor by type. And we mucked around a little bit with the stuff over here. So what you get is a bit more of a glue that glues everything together. And the next track is a baritone sax. And uh, it sounds like that. Kind of a bit like the lower bass line of everything. Sent to the same bus, sent to the same reverb bus as well. Uh, what we have is actually under factory pop horns baritone sax and uh, it's got this nice honky sound about it and to add a bit more to that honk uh, we added a EQ at 114 quite a bit there and we cut a bit at 1240 so it sounds like that and if you put it together here's how the brass sounds <laughs> Yep. And then you have the upright bass. Now, um, this one is what you can find in bass, acoustic bass, upright ballad bass. And it's playing the octaves. And here's how it sounds on this side. So that's basically it. And then you have this sort of uh, drum kit, which is under, oh, what did I pick here? Yeah, it's a user default drum kit. So it's the basic Logic drum kit that you can find. 
send it to a bus as well this one goes directly to stereo out and uh, what you get is sort of the crashes and the kicks so add it together Now this one is an audio track and uh, basically it's a reverse symbol that I use from this track. So I just hit a symbol somewhere further down the track, I create a crash here and I bounced it in place. That's why you get a BIP, bounce in place. So how do you bounce something in place? You uh, right click and you say bounce in place and then you get to bounce in another track. And this is an audio track of the reverse symbol. So I bounce it in place, I went to file, and I go to functions, and I go to reverse. And basically I got a reverse symbol, sounds like that. Yep, just like that. And then we have an acoustic guitar. Now, here's what it is. It's under guitars, acoustic guitars, acoustic harmonics. I send it to an amp as well, and I send it to a clean amp, the best of both worlds, just to give it a bit of that grit. You know, everything here has got a bit of grit because they sampled sounds, they're not particularly clean. Uh, a lot of reverb, and here's how it sounds. Just same as the bass line, and there's this little chord here that's raked. Uh, same instrument. Yep. And then you also have a bit of a chord here. So with the bass and stuff, without the brass. And also the opening, I added, it's the same track. I added a bit of a rake chord as well. Um, you get to see it here. Like that. So it goes with all the dissonance of the horns. So it brings it a bit stronger. And here I added another bass. And... Uh, it's a muted electric bass. It says full strings pizzicato because originally I use a pizzicato. I found that this one works better. Not much effect in the terms of effects. It goes to the bus as well. So not everything I send to the bus. Some of it I send to the bus, some of it I don't. Only the ones I want to dirty up and sort of make into sort of like one sound. And this is how it sounds. So it's pretty dark and you pair it with the bass. So you get something dirty and you get something pretty clean. And then there's a kick. And this one is just a basic, just acoustic kick 25, just to give it that boom. Right, that's it. So that's, and of course, I added a timpani. And you can find the timpani in orchestral, tune, percussion, timpani, single strokes, just to give it a bit more weight. I'm not sure if the original track had that sound, but it kind of works. Here's how it sounds. Now, on to the famous line. Uh, the famous line, what I used was, because it sounded a bit like a plucked guitar, right? So I actually used a plucked instrument, Funky Lick Stratocaster. And what I did was I messed around with the envelopes, the, uh, what you call it, yeah, the amplifier envelope. And you get to see that it's a bit more plucky because of this messing around here. And um, yeah, I just EQ'd it a bit to bring out that honky sound, take a bit out of 280, a bit off on at 970, not a bit, a lot. <laughs> and um, 
yeah, you get that kind of sound. A bit of reverb as well. So. Not too bad. Pretty close. Pretty close. And for the beats, I just kept it really simple. Um, I added under drums and percussion, single drums, kicks, electronic kicks, electronic kick C131. So this is how it sounds. It's got a bit of a deep sound. I send it out to reverb slightly. And for the snare, same thing. I look under drums and percussion, single drums, snares, electronic snares, D125. And here's how it sounds. But I paired that with an acoustic snare. So you can find it under drums and percussion, single drum snares, acoustic snare, D32, which sounds like this. So it's good to layer stuff, I find, like kicks and snares, just to get the kind of sound that you want. Yeah, it's bigger, nicer, and I added one of my favorites, World European, European Folk Kit, and just to give the snare a bit more power, a tambourine. So with the snares and the tambourine, And then, uh, these are the hats. Same thing, I just copied the track over, European Folk Kit. And it sounds like that. And uh, you can see that the bass here is playing as well, the original upright bass. Bass is fairly sparse in this verse section, and uh, the timpani sort of follows this bass. So here's how they sound together. A bit more strength about it, so that's what I like about the timpani combination. Uh, and then you have this. So my hats are actually double as well with this. Just to give it a bit more bigness about it. So when you put the beats together, uh, just the beat elements, I'm gonna not put the melody elements there. So it's gonna sound like uh, this. And um, yeah, and all the other elements which are not beat elements, sound like this. Together. Yeah. Uh. That's it. I hope you had some fun today. As usual, if you want to download the project, please download it at the link below. And if you like these videos, please subscribe for more. See ya.